Arthur's Computer Adventure by Mark Brown. Hi, I'm Arthur. Welcome to Living Books. You've got to see the new computer game the brain gave me. It's called Deep Dark Sea. You search for sunken treasure, but you've got to watch out for dangerous sea creatures, pirates, skeletons, and ghosts, and... Arthur, it's time for dinner. Oh, no. It's already dinner time. But you should come along. Maybe we can play Deep Dark Sea together. If you want this story read to you, click this button. If you want to play inside the story, click this button. Okay, let's go. Mom, can I use your computer to play Deep Dark Sea? Asked Arthur. What's Deep Dark Sea? Asked DW. Only the greatest game in the universe, said Arthur. Can I, Mom? Please? What's the game about? Asked DW. A haunted sunken ship, said Arthur. With skeletons, ghosts, and sharks. Sounds spooky, said DW. With such a spooky game, we should be having ghost beef for dinner. With deep dark seaweed. <laughs> <laughs> or peanut butter and jellyfish sandwiches. With angelfish cake for dessert. <laughs> <laughs> With such a spooky game, we should be having ghost beef for dinner. With deep dark seaweed. <laughs> <laughs> or peanut butter and jellyfish sandwiches. With angelfish cake for dessert. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
Something's fishy around here. Hmm, deep dark seawater. Wipe your nose. Oh, D.W., what did I say about that? The tablecloth is not a handkerchief. Sorry, Mom. You've really got to watch out for the sharks. If you get into a fight with one of those guys, it can push you way back. Sharks don't scare me, but ghosts do. Arthur, in that game, do you have to fight off schools of evil fish sticks? D.W., eat your dinner. Don't fight with it. Poor little fish sticks. Here comes a crab to gobble them up. Kate, open your hatch. Here comes a submarine. Gloop, 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 gloop. Ah, she's happy as a clam. Kate, open your hatch. Here comes a submarine. Gloop, 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 gloop. Ah, she's happy as a clam. Mom, please? Begged Arthur. Oh, all right, said Mom. But finish your dinner first. Arthur finished his dinner in a jiffy. Once Arthur started playing Deep Dark Sea, he couldn't stop. Time for bed, said Dad. But Dad, I almost found the thing, said Arthur. When I find the thing, I can win stuff. You can find the thing tomorrow, said Dad. It's bedtime. I'm ready for bed, said D.W. sweetly. This game is very realistic. Oh, ooh. Hey, this is a tough game. Wow, I made it. Oh, wait, more sharks. Yeah! Whoa, that was close. I must be getting closer to the thing. Hey, we're rich! Woo-wee! Think of all the cheese we can buy! Wow, I made it! Oh, wait, more sharks! Yeah! Whoa, 
Whoa, that was close. I must be getting closer to the thing. Monster Mermaid! DW, stop it! There are sharks all over the place! I don't have much air left! That's funny. Arthur's always been full of hot air. <laughs> don't do that! Don't click on me again! D.W. Smile. Look at Dad. Hey, what's that? A pink elephant. All right. I don't know, but I've been told Deep Dark Sea is full of gold. Whoa! 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 I was getting seasick. Click on the helicopter again if you want to play. Arthur won't mind. <sighs> Look, a sail. You know, you can never have enough lampshades. Try to draw up water balloons and firefighters on that target. This is how we put out real fire. Strike up a firefighter from that target. Great! But can you hit the next one from way Let's up high? Me. Help! Rescue nice me. one! But don't Help! stop now! There's Rescue more targets me. to hit. Help! Help! Rescue me! Rescue me! me. Turn off the power. Help! Yeah, don't want to wish over that one. Help! Rescue me! Help! Help! Rescue me! Rescue me! Help! Rescue me! Help! Help! Rescue me! Yeah! Rescue me! So Help! Rescue me! Arthur, it's past your bedtime. You'll have fun finding the thing tomorrow. Oh, okay. Arthur? Okay, Dad. The next morning, Buster came over to play Deep Dark Sea. So, I got all the way through the kelp forest, and I knew the thing was somewhere nearby. The jellyfish were all over the place. 
And sorry, boys, said Mom. It's tax season. I need my computer all day. Just then, the phone rang. It was for Mom. Hello? I have to run to the office, she said. And don't touch my computer. Arthur, you and Buster can always play dollhouse with me. Aww. Who took the cookies from the cookie jar? Not me. I've been framed. Oh, man. I was sure we'd find the thing today. You can play while Mama's away. She'll never know. No, you mustn't listen to him. Always do what your mom says. You have to find the thing. You'll win all that stuff. Well, boys, there's lots of fun things to do around the house. Like what? You can help me do the dishes. Mom left, Arthur and Buster stared at the computer. I know what you're thinking, said D.W. But I'm so close to finding the thing, said Arthur. You could probably find it before your mom gets home, said Buster. I'm telling Dad, warned D.W. I'll give you my desserts for a whole week, said Arthur. Hmm. Okay. Another mouse! <coughs> 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 
He sure has a long tail! Hello? Got any cheese? Hey! Wake up! Just turn it on, so I can see how it looks. We won't play or anything. Hmm... Maybe that would be okay. You must play Deep Dark Sea. You must play Deep Dark Sea. Resistance is futile. You better not mention this to Mom or Dad. Will you play dollhouse with me whenever I say so? <laughs> okay. And call me your Royal Highness. Don't push it. <laughs> oh, you're such a good little baby. You always do what Mommy says, don't you? Not like Arthur. <laughs> Look, I'm asking you very nicely Please don't click on me! It won't take long to find the thing! Arthur loaded the game. Yelled Buster. I'm running out of oxygen, said Arthur. If you want to play Deep Dark Sea, click on my computer screen again.
Careful, Arthur. What's that? That's an electric eel. A good shot from one of those guys, and I'm history. Yo, a shark. If he gets a hold of me, I'm doomed. If you want to play Deep Dark Sea, To start, choose an X on the globe. Green X's are easiest, yellow ones are medium, and red ones are the hardest. Green X is easy. Yellow X's are medium. The Indian Ocean. Other oceans are bigger, but they don't have an underwater temple like this one. See if you can find it. Just remember, sharks like it here, so be careful. If you have to stop, tap a letter on your keyboard. change directions. Then, click the mouse button to make your diver go. Don't forget to use your bubble bomb. Press the space bar. They'll take care of anything. Look! There's some more air tanks. an octopus. Keep away from him. the dolphin. He might bring you a bubble bomb. Oh no! It's the squid squad! If you swim behind the turtle, he'll protect you. Ghost! Us! 
true. You found me a new treasure. Look, there's your diver certificate and the treasure you found. You can click on them to get a better look. Click again if you want to print. How do you want to print this one? Spin the globe. Use the keyboard to enter your name, and then click again. How do you want to print this one? Spin the globe to try another dive site, or click the stop sign if you want to quit. The Mediterranean Sea. It's small, but many lands touch it, like Egypt. Hey, that's where mummies came from. Maybe old ruins are hiding under these waters. Not to mention some dangerous sea creatures. Look, there's your diver certificate 
and the treasure you found. You can click on them to get a better look. Click again if you want to print. How do you want to print this one? Spin the globe to try another dive site, or the Caribbean Sea. This clear blue water holds many small islands full of people on vacation. But pirates used to sail here looking for ships to rob. Can you find a sunken pirate ship? Porcupine fish. They're tricky. Yay! A shark! Don't get in front of that shark! enemy, it'll sting you. Look, there's some more air tanks. Buster, look, it's the pirate ship. certificate and the treasure you found. You can click on them to get a better look. Click again if you want to print. How do you want to print this one? Click again if you want to print. How do you want to print this one? Spin the globe to try another dive site. The Atlantic Ocean. Long ago, explorers from Europe sailed across it and found America. Now, airplanes bring people across it every day. But diving underneath it is a whole new world. Check it out.
touch the sea anemone, it'll sting you. Skeleton, you must be close. Ooh, a ghost. Yikes, I can't look. Wow, pirate treasure. your diver certificate and the treasure you found. You can click on them to get a better look. Click again if you want to print. Spin the globe. Click again if you want to print. How do you want to print this one? Spin the globe to try another dive site. Or click the stop sign if you want to quit. Click again if you want to print. Spin the globe to try another dive site, or click the stop sign if you the Pacific Ocean. It's look a gold coin.
protect you. Yay! A shark! Don't get in front of that shark. I think that giant clam is waiting for you. Hey, it's a bubble bomb. That's a porcupine fish. They're tricky. the deep, dark part. I, I don't think those are f friendly fish. You must be close. Look, pirate's treasure. You did it. You finished all of the dive sites. You can play again and try to get a better score. Or, click the stop sign to play another activity, or return to the story. Click again if you want to print. How do you want to print? Spin the globe. Use the keyboard to enter your name, and then click again to print your certificate. Spin the globe. Are you sure you want to quit? Okay. A shark! If he gets a hold of me, I'm doomed! Look, said Buster, a treasure chest! That's it! Screamed Arthur. That's the thing! I found it! Let me open it! Shouted Buster. I found it! Argued Arthur. They both dove for the mouse. Uh-oh. You're in big trouble. Just then, the phone rang. Everyone jumped. It was Mom. I won't be home until tonight, she said. Everything all right? Um, fine. Uh, just, just great, said Arthur. You know... Mom can tell when you're lying, whispered D.W. Okay, Mom. Bye. Maybe we can fix it before she gets home, said Arthur.
Arthur looked through the computer manual. There's nothing in here about deep dark sea accidents, he said. Are you sure you have the right manual? Excuse me, I'd like to look for a while. Battle with an octopus. Fight off sharks and the ghosts of dead pirates. Hours of fun exploring the haunted sunken ship. Win valuable prizes. If you're not playing Deep Dark Sea... Oh, sorry, kids. Did you hear that DW's going to get all of Arthur's desserts now? As if she could eat them all. I'm so sure. Maybe she'll like share some with us? Totally. Hi, DW. Did you hear that DW's going to get all of Arthur's desserts now? As if she could eat them all. I'm so sure. Maybe she'll like share some with us? Totally. Hi, DW. Why are fish so smart? Because they're always in schools! Computers for bunnies and oddbarks. 20,000 leaks under the deep dark sea. Hey look! Here's a giant close-up picture of a banana slug. Buster! Oh, sorry. B, 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 C for computer. This is the Reed residence. Please leave a message. Did someone there order a large cheese pizza with extra cheese? Hold the pizza. my Frankenfish activity book. Click there again if you want to play. See? I told you to listen to your mom. You can blame it on DW or Pal. You got me into this mess. I'm not going to listen to you again.
Once upon a time, there was a boy who disobeyed his mother and broke her computer, and his little sister got all his desserts, and she lived happily ever after. You're not helping, D.W. That's my Frankenfish activity book. Click there again if you want to play. You can learn all about these fish by clicking on their names. And you can make up your own fish by switching their heads and tails around, like this. <laughs> Clownfish. It flounder. It looks like a normal fish when it's born. But after a few days, one eye moves to the other side of its head and then it swims sideways for the rest of its life. Clownfish. This fish will grow its own vegetable garden of green algae. Green algae looks like slimy spinach. But clownfish love it. Lionfish. This is one of the most poisonous fish. All those spines are its stingers. But its bright colors tell the other fish not to mess with it. Angelfish. This fish is tall and flat, so it can fit into small cracks to find food or hide. I bet it's really good at hide and seek. Angel Clown. Have you ever seen someone go fishing and catch an old shoe? Well, this is the silly fish who put it on their fishing hook. Clown Angel, do you know what this one's favorite card game is? It's Go Fish, of course. <coughs> Lionerfish, maybe this fish has been lying out in the sun too long or under a rock, but you wouldn't want to find him lying on your chair. Ouch! Spiked Flounder, this is a lazy fish that sleeps all day long, just like Arthur. But no one really wants to wake it up because it looks so grumpy, just like Arthur. Spiked Flounder. This is a lazy fish that's... Lion Clown. If fish had circus... Floundrel Fish. This is the fish that... Angel Lion. Maybe this is an... A Seahorse. It's not a real horse, it's a fish. But it uses its tail to hold on, just like a monkey does. Maybe it should be called a sea monkey. Jellyfish. This is not the kind of jelly that you can eat. Jellyfish can sting. But it has no eyes and no brain and is mostly made out of water. Squid. This isn't really a fish. It's more related to a snail or a clam. A squid has ten arms covered with suckers to grab its food and to protect itself. I bet with all those arms, it can swim pretty good too. Tuna. The tuna fish is a great swimmer because it's shaped just like a rocket. It can zoom as fast as a car and swim across any ocean and it doesn't need water wings. Jella Luna. This is a little tuna that got lost from her mother and was raised by a family of jellyfish. Horse squid. What do you say when you're riding a horse squid? Squiddy up! Tuna jelly. If you put this one between two pieces of bread, you'd have a tuna and jellyfish sandwich. Squid horse. Sometimes you can find this fish in your refrigerator. 
eating all the chocolate ice cream. Tuna horse. This fish lives down in the darkest part of the ocean. Squid gel. It's an itty bitty squiddy squishy fishy that feels kind. Fred. Yep, this is Fred. He likes to draw pictures of sea creatures and go to school with his 900 brothers and sisters. Squiduna. Did you know that fish can breathe out? Tuna horse. This fish lives down in the darkest part of the ocean and makes those little beeping noises you always hear in submarines. Jelly squid. It's a little fish that likes to tickle scuba divers until they can't stop giggling and get the hiccups. Horse tuna. Maybe this fish lost her voice. Porcupine fish. When it gets scared, this fish can swallow a whole bunch of water and puff up like a balloon with spikes. Shark. This one is called a great white shark. It has some of the strongest jaws around and can even bite through metal. Octopus. Its name means eight-footed because it's got eight legs. Anglerfish. It lives in the deep sea where it's dark all the time, but it has little nightlights all over its body. Octopus. It can change color and squirt black ink into the water to hide from danger. I squirted black ink on Arthur once, and then I had to hide, too. Octopus shark. Why did the octopus shark get in trouble? Because she was always making waves. Sharktopus. Do you know where this fish comes from? Finland! Porculiar fish. Don't let this fish's looks fool you. He's actually very nice, and he sings really well, too. See? He has his own microphone on his head. If you have a printer, you can print out your fish. Puffer shark. This is what a shark looks like after it tries to swallow a porcupine fish. Sharkupine. This fish doesn't have much of a nose. I'll bet he doesn't smell too good. Anglerpuss. He's such a grouch. Maybe he should be called a sourpuss. Puffer shark. This is what a shark looks like after it tries to swallow a porcupine fish. Sharkupine. This fish doesn't have much of a nose. I'll bet he doesn't smell too good. Sharkupine. This 
peculiar fish. Don't let this fish's looks fool you. He's actually very nice, and he sings really well, too. See, he has his own microphone on his head. Angler Puss. He's such a grouch. Maybe he should be called a sour puss. Sharkupine. This fish doesn't have much of a nose. I'll bet he doesn't smell too good. Octopus Shark. Why did the octopus shark get in trouble? Because she was always making waves. Are you sure you want to? Okay. Did you know I like the angelfish best? I still can't find anything. What are we going to do? The brain can fix anything. Let's ask him. Alan's not home, said the brain's mom. But you might find him at the library. Okay. They checked the library. They checked the museum, just when they were about to give up. They found him. Are you doing a science experiment? asked Buster. No, I'm skipping stones, said the brain. It's fun. <laughs> Here's a flat stone. Good one, Buster. This one's really flat and smooth. Oh, cool! This stone's kind of round. I need to try a flat stone. Yeah. <laughs> 
skip some stones before we leave. Okay, but just for a minute. I'm worried about the computer. You need to try it with a flat stone. Hey, Brain! Remember that favor you owed me when your homework got blown away on that stormy day and Pal fetched it for you? Well, I really need your help. Um, I think maybe I broke my mom's computer. I'll bet you were playing Deep Dark Sea. Sure, I'll help. How'd you do that? <laughs> Just lucky, I guess. Everyone went back to Arthur's house. The brain examined the computer. Hmm, said the brain. He shook his head. That bad? asked Arthur. It must be, said the brain. I can't find the problem. Well, thanks for trying, said Arthur. Now you're in really, really big trouble, said D.W. If the brain can't fix it, who can, said Buster. I have an idea, said Arthur. Arthur explained his problem to the computer expert. Then, the computer expert explained how much a house call and hourly fees would cost. That's more birthday money than I'll ever see in my whole life, said Arthur. Boys are silly. Boys are silly. Like the one in the house. Oh, there's lots of them. He's sleeping. They're all on their mats. Shh. It must be nap time. Boys are silly. Thanks, you. D. E. E. P. Come on down. Get your very own Deep Dark Sea for a limited time only. Not responsible for Deep Dark Sea accidents while fighting over the mouth. D. A. R K S 
E. A. D. 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 C. Because now, Mommy will lose her job, and we won't be able to keep our house, and we'll all have to live in the cold, on the street, and we'll all get ammonia and die, and it's all your fault, Arthur. I sure would like to go to the ice cream shop. The new Bionic Bunny CD! And there's Deep Dark Sea! Oh yeah, we're in trouble. I did it! I found the thing! Oh. I'm doomed! That evening, Arthur hardly touched his dinner. Hi, I'm home! Called Mom. Mom, how about a game of cards? Asked Arthur. And a family bike ride. Mm, don't have time, sweetie, said Mom. I have tons of work. I'm a starfish! This is the life. Hey, 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 close the door! I'm chillin'. A uh, little, little to the left, little, little to the left, no, no! Oh no! It's getting away! So, what did you do today, Arthur? Uh, Buster and I, we, uh, went to the museum and the library and we skipped stones down by the stream. And we went to the computer store. <laughs> so, what did you do today, Arthur? Uh, Buster and I, we uh, went to the museum and the library and we skipped stones down by the stream. And we went to the computer store. <laughs> Broke the computer! Mom? Uh, you look tired. Why don't you just sit down? I'll get you a pillow. Put your feet up. Relax. Arthur, you're up to something. How about a game of checkers? Uh, Arthur, I think I hear my mom calling. Uh. Don't go. You can't. Can of beans! Can of corn! 
a can of hot peppers. Woohoo! Sounds good. <laughs> you want to bet Arthur gets grounded for a week? No, for a month. No, for life. And he can kiss his desserts goodbye forever. Forever and ever. We're back. The moment of truth is near. Mom has arrived home. And now she's going to find out at any moment. We should be receiving pictures soon from the computer crash site. Uh, Arthur's trying out his new stalling tactic, Jim. Uh, how do you think it's working? Well, it could go either way, Bob. We'll be right back after a word from our sponsor. Aye, aye, sir. Enemy in range, sir. Fire when ready! <laughs> That's the treasure hunt game. Click there again if you want to play. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's brains and all the computer men couldn't put Humpty together again. <laughs> That's the treasure hunt game. Click there again if you want to play. Let's go hunt for treasure. Pick which diver you'd like to be. Now click on the level you want to play. Hard, medium, or easy. Now click on the level you want to play. Hard, medium, or easy. Are you sure you want to quit? Okay. Easy. Hard. Okay, let's play. To start play, are you sure you want to qu Okay. That's the treasure hunt game. Click there again if you want to play. That's the treasure hunt game. Click there again if you want to play. That's the treasure hunt game. Click there again if you want to play. That's the treasure hunt game. Click there again if you want to play. Let's go hunt for treasure. Pick which diver you'd like to be. Now click on the level you want to play. Easy. Okay, the computer will be Buster. <laughs> to start playing, pick a card from the stack. Like this. Or, you can click stop if you want to quit. Now, click on the picture that matches the word on the card. You can click on the card to hear the word again. B E D bed. My turn. Now let me see. Hmm. S E A C. My turn. B O A T. Boat. E. Ah. Ooh. Yikes. 
shark! He nearly got me! Now I get to go. Now let me see. Hmm... D... O... L... L... Doll! Hey! Ow! Sheesh! A huge shark! I was almost fish food! Now I get to go. B... I... K... E... Bike! Let me try. Now let me see. Hmm... J... A... R... Jar! Let me try! B... O... O... K... Book! My turn! Now let me see. Hmm... R... U... G... Rug! My turn! G A S Gas Now I get to go. Now let me see. Hmm F I S H Fish Now I get to go. H A T Hat Let me try. Now let me see. Hmm. C. O. W. Cow. Yeah! Oh. Ooh. Let me try. C. A. R. Car. My turn. Now let me see. C. Hmm. D. I. S. H. Dish. Cool. A secret shortcut for me. My turn. D. E. S. K. Desk. Now I get to go. Now let me see. Hmm... H... E... A... D... Head! Now I get to go! S... E... A... L... Seal... <laughs> ah! Alright! Three more squares! Let me try! Now let me see. Hmm. You picked dish. The card says sun. Let me try. D. A. D. Dad. My turn. Now let me see. Hmm. M. O. M. Mom. My turn! You picked dish. The card says pan. Now I get to go. Now let me see. Hmm. That's book. You wanted dog. Now I get to go. S. O. C. K. Sock. Yay! I found it! I found the treasure! It's mine! I'm rich! 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 Arthur, how do you feel now that you've found the treasure? Wow! I can hardly believe it! What should I do with the treasure? You help me find it. Pick whatever you want. That's a great idea! That's it! That's what we'll do with it!
It's mine, all mine. Greedy treasure hunter keeps whole fortune for himself. Read all about it. Click on the text for more. Arthur sits on a pile of gold that fills his entire bedroom. Millionaire kid Arthur Reed, the famous undersea treasure hunter, has one big plan for all the riches he found. I'm going to keep it. When asked about sharing, he responded, I worked hard to find this treasure. It's all mine. The family and friends of greedy Arthur are worried that money will not make him happy. There's more to life than money, says his best friend and fellow treasure hunter, Buster Baxter. If I had found the treasure, I would have shared it with Arthur. Newsflash! Rich kid trapped in bedroom misses dessert. The selfish kid who kept his entire treasure locked in his bedroom went without his favorite dessert because the pile of golden jewels blocked the door. You can click stop if you want to quit. Click again to read more. There's still more to read. Click again. You can click stop if you want to quit. Would you like to play Treasure Hunt again? Let's go hunt for treasure. Pick which diver you'd like to be, me or Buster. Now click on the level you want to play. Medium? Okay. The computer will be me. To start playing, pick a card from the stack. Like this. Or you can click stop if you want to quit. Now click on the word that matches the picture on the card. More squares for me. My turn. Hmm. Which one? B E N C H. Bench. My turn. C H E S T. Chest. Now I get to go. Hmm. Which one? P. L. A. N. E. Plane. Now I get to go. T. R. E. E. Tree. Let me try. Hmm, which one? P, I, Z, Z, A, pizza. Let me try.
T. Plant. Now I get to go. Hmm. Which one? P I E. Pie. Now I get to go. What are you going to do with all that treasure? Wow, I, I can hardly speak. Hi, Mom. I, I'm so excited. Let's decide what to do with the treasure. Click on one of the things I'm thinking of. That's a great idea. It's Candyland for Treasure Chest Kid. Chest of Gold buys truckload of sweets. Read all about it. Click on the text for more. It's Candyland for Treasure Chest Kid. Chest of Gold buys truckload of sweets. Lollipops, bubblegum, candy bars, and licorice. It's every kid's dream come true. And Buster Baxter is living it. Last week, the luckiest kid in the world discovered a lost treasure chest while scuba diving and became an instant millionaire. The first thing on his shopping list, his very own candy store, of course. I have gingerbread houses and a candy Ferris wheel. I know what kids like. I am one. The lineup for opening day was 500 kids long. Click again to read more. There's still more to read. Sugar-coated kid spends whole day at dentist. It's another trip to the dentist for the poor little rich kid. The world-famous treasure hunter found a mouthful of cavities after eating a fortune's worth of candy in his very own candy store. It was one candy cane too many for Buster Baxter. Buster Baxter celebrates the grand opening of his new candy store. Would you like to play Treasure Hunt again?
Mom headed for the computer. Arthur felt sick. Arthur ran after Mom. DW ran after Arthur. Buster ran home. Just when Mom's finger was about to hit the on button, Arthur yelled, Stop! I was playing Deep Dark Sea and the screen went blank. I'm sorry. I wrecked it. It's all my fault. That happens to me all the time, said Mom. Did you jiggle the switch? Mom jiggled the switch and the game came on. Whew. Why didn't you call me? Always call me with your problems. A tisket, a tasket, a green and yellow basket. We stole some treats from Marcus Freeze, but then you, you, you went and you lost, lost it. You lost that chase. I had to perfectly oh, match it. Everything was mine. No. I thought you'd be mad. I'm not mad. I'm disappointed. I know I wasn't using the computer, but... I know, Mom. I know I wasn't using the computer, but... I know, Mom. I still get all of your desserts. No way, DW! <clears throat> Mrs. Reed, let me take this opportunity to remind you that you have tons of work. Uh. Isn't anyone sleepy around here? I wish T.W. would put me to bed. Look, I'm a lamp. I turn on, I turn off. This is all I do. So go away. <laughs> We're at the computer crash site, and it comes as no surprise that the bunny has fled the sea. More later!
Am I going to get punished? Asked Arthur. Of course, said Mom. You did something you weren't supposed to do. Make the punishment really good, said D.W. No computer games for a week, said Mom. Now get ready for bed. I'll be up to say goodnight in a few minutes. Arthur and D.W. did as they were told. Then, they waited for what seemed like a very long time. Mom! Called Arthur. Time to tuck us in. In a minute, said Mom. The sharks are attacking. <sighs> what did Cinderella Sea Lion wear to the ball? Glass flippers. Mr. Bunny needs a costume so he can turn into Bionic Bunny. To buy something, just drag it over the scanner. Four pennies, please. One more. That's three pennies, please. That'll be eight pennies, please. One more. Thanks. Here at the cafe is where the toys order their meals. Your job is to make delicious food by following my recipes. Molly says she would like some soup. The recipe says drop in one apple. Okay, we need two eggs. The recipe says put in three cans of tomatoes. Put in four gummy worms. Mix in five spoons of sugar. Let's see if Molly likes her food. She likes it! For that recipe, you earned four pennies. 
It's your job to put the ingredients in the bowl. Molly says she would like a taco salad. The recipe says drop in one egg. Okay, we need two gummy worms. The recipe says put in three spoons of sugar. Put in four leaves. Mix in five jelly beans. Let's see if Molly likes her food. She likes it. For that recipe, you earned three pennies. If you want to go shopping, then click on the store sign. But if you want to make some more food, then pick a new recipe. Molly says she would like some pudding. Put in four eggs. Mix in five gummy worms. It's your job to put the ingredients. You need to add six spoons of sugar. Okay, put in seven leaves. We need eight cans of tomatoes. Let's see if Molly likes her food. She likes it. For that recipe, you earned six pennies. Mr. Bunny needs a costume so he can turn into Bionic Bunny. That's six pennies, please.
only two more. That's twelve pennies, please. One more. I'll capture that fiendish rat! Testing, testing. This has only been a test. Thank you. What are the strongest creatures in the sea? Muscles! If you want to go shopping at my store, pick one of these toys. Me! 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 No, pick me! Pick me! First floor! Cheese! Second floor! Where's the cheese? Pick up your store! Let's go! What did the fish say when he got caught in the seaweed? Kelp! Kelp! Maybe we should tuck ourselves in tonight, said D.W. Oh, good idea, said Arthur. I'll be right up, called Mom, as soon as I blast these skeletons from the treasure chest. Good night, Robin. Good night, Jay. Good night, Ren. Good morning, Mr. Owl. Just one more story. Okay, just one. Pal, quiet down. It's time to go to sleep. Pal, quiet.
it down. It's time to go to sleep. Arthur, I'm going to play Deep Dark Sea in the morning, and you can't stop me. Oh, DW, that's not fair. Oh, got him. Uh-oh, oh, no you don't. Yay, air tanks. Whoops, I've got to get that switch fixed. Good night, Robin. Good night, Jay. Good night, Ren. Good morning, Mr. Owl. Good night, Mom, called Arthur. Well, that's the end of my story. Come back and see me again. Bye! Did you jiggle the switch? If you want this story read to you, click this button. If you want to... Okay, let's go. Check out all of these activities. Click on the activity you want to play with. All right! Let's play Treasure Hunt with Buster. Let's go hunt for treasure. Pick which diver. Now click on the level you want to play. Hard. Medium. Easy. Okay, the computer will be Buster. To start playing, pick a... Now, click on the D-O-O-R door. Whoa! Thanks! Six more squares! My turn. Now let me see. 
P I N Pin. My turn. R U G Rug. Now I get to go. Now let me see. Hmm. P O T Pot. Now I get to go. S E A L Seal. Let me try. Now let me see. Hmm. D O L L Doll. Let me try. M O M Mom. Awesome. A shortcut. My turn. Now let me see. Hmm. C A R Car. My turn. B E D Bed. Now I get to go. Now let me see. Hmm. H A T Hat. Now I get to go. G A S Gas. Let me try. Now let me see. Hmm. D O G Dog. Let me try. S E A C. My turn. Now let me see. Hmm. B O O K. Book. My turn. D I S H Dish. Yay! I found it! I found the treasure! It's mine! I'm rich! 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 Arthur, how do you feel now that you've found the treasure? Wow! I can hardly believe it! Let's decide what to do with the treasure. Click on one of the things I'm thinking of. That's a great idea! That's it! That's what we'll do with it! Dinosaur Size Donation Treasure Hunter makes huge donation to National Museum. Read all about it. Click on the text for more. This will buy a lot of dinosaur bones said the director of the National Museum, as he accepted a huge check from the millionaire kid. Thank you so much for sharing your treasure with the world, young man. Many people will benefit from this. Next year, the museum will open the new Arthur Reed Dinosaurs and Other Cool Stuff Wing, using the money donated by the young treasure hunter. I'm glad to be able to help kids learn about dinosaurs, undersea creatures, and all the other great stuff there is to see at the museum, said Arthur. I hope all the kids in the country will come and visit my new wing. Arthur shakes hands with the president. The National Museum was very thankful for Arthur's huge donation. The president was also very impressed by Arthur's generous donation. I would like to invite you and your family to come visit me in Washington, said the president. Do you think you might like to have lunch in the White House? I sure would, Mr. President. Thank you very much, said the happy treasure hunter. Wait until I tell my sister D.W. Would you like to play treasure?
let's go hunt for treasure. Now click on the level you want. Medium? Okay. The computer will be me. To start playing, pick a card from the stack. Like this. Or you can click stop if you want to quit. Now click on the word S. to go. Hmm. Which one? You picked mouse. The card says bottle. Now I get to go. feel now that you've found the treasure. Wow! I, I can hardly speak. Hi, Mom! I, I'm so excited. Let's decide what to do with the treasure. Click on one of the things I'm thinking of. All right! Free money on Main Street. Kid finds sunken treasure and gives it all away. Read all about it. Click on the text for more. Free money on Main Street. Kid finds sunken treasure 
and gives it all away. A gleeful crowd fills Main Street as Buster throws gold coins into the air. Buster pays for a new playground. Newly rich Buster shares his treasure with the world. Come and get it! Called the Millionaire Kid as he threw gold coins, jewels, and other valuables from his sunken treasure to his awaiting public. This is the greatest day of my life, said one lucky woman. I'm going to buy a new house for my family. I was very lucky to find such a fortune, and I think everyone in town should be able to share the fun with me, said Buster. This is a great day for our city, said the mayor. From now on, uh, today will be known as the Buster Day. Shouts of thank you, Buster, and we love you, Buster, could be heard throughout the city. But first, a big donation to the Kids Center. All of the children at the Kids Center think Buster's a real hero, says the thrilled director. And so do I. Would you like to play treasure hunt? Let's go hunt for treasure. Pick which diver you'd like to be. Now click on the level you want. Hard? Okay. The computer will be Buster. To start playing, pick a card from the stack. Like this. Or, you can click stop, if you want to quit. Now, what's the beginning sound? T. E. A. P. O. T. Teapot. My turn. Now let me see. Hmm. S. Q. U. I. D. Squid. My turn. get to go. Now let me see. Hmm. C. L. O. U. D. Cloud. Now I get to go. G. R. O. C. E. R. I. E. S. Groceries. Let me try. Now let me see. Hmm. S. I. G. N. Sign. Let me try. B. A. C. K. P. A. C. K. Backpack. My turn. Now let me see. Hmm. P. A. I. N. T. Paint. My turn. to go. Now let me see. Hmm. S. K. E. L. E. T. O. N. Skeleton. 
your turn. Now I get to go. S T O N E S Stones. Yay! I found it! I found the treasure! It's mine! I'm rich! 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 What are you going to do with all that treasure? Wow! I can hardly believe it! What should I do with the treasure? You help me find it. Pick whatever you want. That's a great idea! That's it! That's what we'll do with it! Kid creates Colossal Coaster! Millions flock to the world's biggest roller coaster! Read all about it! Click on the text for more! A new amusement park, Treasure Chest Land, open today to huge crowds. A tropical island in the South Pacific is the setting for this wonderful playland. The big attraction is the world's largest roller coaster. The best part is that the park is free to all kids under 12, thanks to millionaire owner Arthur Reed. After I found the sunken treasure full of golden jewels, I knew I had to use my new riches to make all the kids in the world as happy as I am. And what could be more fun than a huge, free amusement park? The new park is open every day. Don't forget your bathing suit. Arthur supervises the construction site. Arthur is the first to ride his brand new roller coaster. Would you like to play Treasure Hunt again? Let's go hunt for treasure. Now click on the level you want, hard. Okay, the computer will be me. To start playing, pick up now. Click on the picture that matches the M A I L B O X mailbox. Hey! Ow! Sheesh! A huge shark! I was almost fish food! My turn! Hmm... Which one? T... E... A... P... O... T... Teapot! My turn! W... H... E... E... L... Now I get to go. Hmm. Which one? B A C K P A C K Backpack. Now I get to go. T U R T L E Turtle. Let me try. Hmm. Which one? P A I N T B R U S H. Paintbrush. Let me try. S. G. N. Sign. Cool. A secret shortcut for me. My turn. Hmm. Which one? M. O. N. E. Y. Money. My turn. S. T. O. N. E. S. Stones. 
Now I get to go. Hmm. Which one? G R O C E R I E S. Groceries. Now I get to go. S K E L E T O N Skeleton Yahoo! I found the treasure! It's mine! Woohoo! Wow! I'm rich! What are you gonna do with all that treasure? Wow! I, I can hardly speak. Hi, Mom. I, I'm so excited. Let's decide what to do with the treasure. Click on one of the things I'm thinking of. That's a great idea. Trillionaire trades treasure for toys. Rich kid buys every toy in Toy Store. Read all about it. Click on the text for more. Buster's playroom is stuffed full of stuffed toys. And every other toy there is. I'll never be bored again, said toy boy Buster Baxter. This is a dream come true. I could play all day, every day, and never run out of new toys. And Buster isn't the only lucky kid. His friend Arthur and all of his classmates can look forward to getting lots of great presents. Robots, video games, you name it. I've got it all. And my friends are invited over to play any time, said Buster. It would take us a week or so to restock our shelves, but I don't mind, said the owner of the toy store. Would you like to play Treasure Hunt again? If you want to play inside a page from the story, click on the page you want. The pages with red borders have activity.
If you want to play inside a page from the story, click on the page you want. If you want this story read to you, Are you sure you want to quit? All right, let's go back to the story. If you want this story read to you, Are you sure you want to quit? Okay, see you later.